on this episode, we got an Eagle Scout project at the Joy Factory that I want you to hear about. What's up, Nigu Nation? Welcome back to Nigu TV. Um, I am here with a really special guest today. This is Austin. Um, Austin just decided to do his Eagle Scout project here at the Joy Factory in Irvine, and it's a pretty special project that we got to do. It's right behind us, right here. Some amazing shelves for our incredible volunteers that come to the Joy Factory every week. Um, but Austin, can you share with everyone a little bit about your story, how you heard about Nigu, and then what this means to be able to have this a part of your Eagle Scout project? Definitely. So, um, my whole journey with Nigu starts probably in like sixth grade. Yeah. Um, and we had a, like, they call it like Team Kids, like, uh, like Team Kids Carnival and stuff like that. Yeah. Which is another organization like based in uh, Orange County. Very cool. Um, and we, uh, basically, like, after we fundraised a bunch of money with like a carnival and stuff like that, uh, people were like pitching where they wanted to like donate it to. Yeah. And then someone gave like this like really heartfelt like speech. Not speech, but like like uh like this, yeah about about Nigu and like what it meant and yeah. um the like connection to it and then like we, that we all like need to endlessly chose to awesome. <laughs> donate our money uh to Nigu. I love that. And then soon yeah. after that, you were volunteering in here for a little bit too, right? Yeah. yeah. Or so I I got diagnosed um, with stage four cancer like later that year in yeah. sixth grade. Yeah. Um and then I like kind of like I I didn't like forget about it, but it was like in the back of my head. Sure. Um. Like Nigu, and then I woke up one day from like a nap in the hospital, and there was like a joy jar sitting on like the bedside table so next cool. to me. Um, and like I think it was just me and my dad in my room at that point, like at that time. Um, and then I like had like a smile on my face, and my dad's like, like what? And I was like, oh, like. And then I explained to him the whole story. That's so awesome. And it was like a super cool, like full circle um, thing. So cool. So and that like, joy jar really did brighten your day when yeah, you were at the hospital. Yeah, really brightened my day, and like was like a super cool moment. And I think it started kind of like this, like. Um, back and forth of like, uh, like kind of giving and like receiving and like being on like the, like both ends of like this, like amazing organization. Very cool. Um, and then like a, like a few months later, like I did my bar mitzvah project here and like yeah. collected friends at my school and like brought friends and we like stuffed joy jars. Amazing. Um, and then like I had to get like for Boy Scouts, like I had to do a merit badge rated to like eight hours of service. Um, to like somewhere in our community. So yeah. my friend and I came here and we did like our service and then so cool. I had to choose like a beneficiary from like my Eagle Sale project a few years later and I was like I knew the exact place where I wanted to do it. That's so awesome. Yeah. So here's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you heard about it from someone who came and like talked about Jesse's story with yeah. you guys. And then you guys donated some some money to come to the foundation and some items and yeah. some toys and stuff like that. And then you hosted um, you, you, there was a joy drive in there, that's like a toy drive yeah. in there, and then you volunteered here, and then you got a joy jar, yeah. it's like, he's checking all these boxes, and of course it's so cool for us to hear yeah. how compassionate you are in the midst of your journey to give back to kids fighting cancer with, with this amazing amazing project so that's so cool it's a it's a huge compliment to you and we're honored to have your support in this way um, so guys here's the deal Austin really special kid he was a courageous kid yeah I mean that I mean that um, I'm an Eagle Scout myself and when he got to come to the Joy Factory to do his Eagle Scout project here it was pretty special because um, I know what it's like to have all the hard work and the effort and the leadership that goes into these projects. And when he got to choose the Jesse Reese Foundation to do this, um, we just know that there's some really special pieces that are part of this, this incredible project. So thank you, Austin. Um, and I mean, how are volunteers going to know when they walk in that this incredible um, shelving unit name badge holder, all of these things is from Austin because I want everyone to know yeah. that this was made by you so, and all that sort of stuff. We had we had this plaque made. Um, Amazing. But it, and I'd like to present it to you, I guess. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but it says, it says uh, Courageous Kid 2014 and Eagle Scout 2019. Uh, so that like that journey kind of would be able to be represented. In, like, I love it. This is so song. cool. This is so cool. So this is going to get put up on that shelving unit, yeah. so then when all of our volunteers come in, um, we're able to, um, them for them to know that Austin did this incredible project here. Okay, the last thing as we send everyone off, Austin, I heard you're a comedian. Do you have a joke to share with everyone today? Yeah, I, I, Let's, yeah. I okay, we need to hear it. Nigu Nation, this is jokester Austin right here. All right, here we go. Okay. 
What do you call a farmer's headache? What? A migraine. Oh my. Like, <laughs> Get it? Like grains, like, like grains. wheat, and because <laughs> they grow it. It's farm. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> Austin, thank you so much. This is amazing. Cubbies for our volunteers, shelving unit for some amazing supplies that we're going to be able to use them in incredible ways for, but we're just so grateful for you. Thanks, man. Bye, Nikki Nation.